the passive voice. Today, you are going to learn about the passive voice in French. Good news, it is very similar to English. But if you don't know what the passive voice is, here is a quick reminder. There are two voices, the active voice and the passive voice. With the active voice, the subject, the element in the sentence that controls the verb, does the action expressed by the verb. For instance, the boy is eating an apple. With the passive voice, the subject does not do the action, but is affected by it. For an example, an apple is being eaten by the boy. So it's not the apple who does the action of eating, of course. As you can see, what was the direct object in the first sentence, an apple, has become the subject of the second sentence at the passive voice. And the first subject, the boy, has become a complement in the second sentence. How do you form the passive voice in French? Quite like in English, not only the subject and the object have been reversed, but the verb to be has been introduced. In French, you take your subject and you add the verb être conjugated at any tense and the past participle of the verb which agrees with the subject in gender and number. You can also add the preposition par or sometimes de and a complement. For instance, if we use the sentence of the English example, une pomme est mangée par le garçon. Or, les contrats ont été signés. The contracts have been signed. Be careful! Don't mistake the passive voice at the present with the passé composé of verbs conjugated with the auxiliary être. For instance, Elle est pardonnée, she is forgiven, it is the passive voice at the present, and elle est partie, she left, it is the passé composé with the auxiliary être. An important difference with English is that in French, only a direct object can become the subject of a sentence at the passive voice. Take the English sentence, Martin gave me a book. It is the active voice. You can say, A book was given to me, or I was given a book. Both sentences are the pa passive voice and both are correct. In French, you have Martin m'a donné un livre, active voice. You will say, Un livre m'a été donné, passive voice, which by the way sounds a little bit weird. But you can never say, j'ai été donné un livre. The passive voice is slightly less used in French than it is in English. But French has other ways of conveying passive meaning. One of them is using reflexive verbs. For instance, la tour Eiffel se trouve à Paris. The Eiffel Tower is located in Paris. You can also use the pronoun on. On can mean we in informal discourses, but it can also have a general meaning. It can be translated by one, someone, people, they, you, and of course, the passive voice in English. For instance, on m'a donné un livre. I was given a book. On dit que fumer est mauvais pour la santé. People say, or it is said, that smoking is bad for your health. Bon travail! Au revoir!